Hey dudes, welcome to Splat from the Past, the only 80s themed horror and sci-fi show where things can get totally radical. Now today, I will be talking to a uh, YouTube vlogger from the UK, Mandy Rainbow Locks, also known as Mandy Pink Mermaid. You may have seen her on YouTube, she posts very funny random videos, usually of her singing. <clears throat> She's quite a character and pretty funny. We've been Facebook friends for a couple weeks now and I just thought she was so intriguing. I thought she would make a great guest on Splat from the Past to talk about um, <clears throat> her videos, horror movies, and other stuff. And yeah, so tonight, so tonight I will be, t tonight today, whenever you watch this video, tonight, today, I will be talking to Mandy Rainbow Locks and it's going to be pretty darn entertaining. I think. So, without further ado, here's my interview with Mandy Rainbow Locks. Hello. Mandy. Hello, it's Mandy. How you doing? This is Tommy. We are live. Oh, wow. Live on what? Uh, YouTube. Yep. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, what part of England are you originally from? From London. From London. Yep. <laughs> did you grow? Did you grow up upper class, middle class? No, I grew up very common. I'm, I lived in Essex for a very long time, and um, I've now moved back to. Well, I'm on the border of London and Kent. Nice, nice. Where did you want to be growing up? Uh, I've always wanted to go back to London. <laughs> Absolutely love it. I mean, though, what what do you want to do for a career? Um, well, I always wanted to be a, a model, but, um, well, my figure never allowed me to do that, so I ended up doing artist modeling instead. Oh, that's bad. That's really <laughs> bad. <laughs> so, how did you yeah. how did you get to be a YouTube star? Oh, I don't think I'm a star yet, but, um, <laughs> I need a few more <laughs> subscribers for that, but... I was watching other people's YouTube videos and I thought, oh, I could do that as well. Um, I love going to car boot sales, which um, in England is like um, the equivalent of garage sales, but on a massive field. And so people would uh, show what they bought and I thought, oh, I could do that because uh, I love my boot sales. And I also love singing as well, but perhaps I'm not that good at it, but it doesn't stop me doing it. Yeah, I've watched your videos. I love when you sing um, the Saved by the Bell theme. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I learned all I knew from American high schools from that show. What, really? Wow, that was like one of my favorite shows growing up. Oh, okay. Yeah, mine too. Yeah. That's why my son's called Zach. Zach. Zach was like the ultimate hero for me when I was growing up. That guy could get away with anything. Absolutely, and my son is just like his namesake, but even worse. Yeah, and Screech, he did stand-up comedy later in life. Yeah, and he did a porno as well. Oh, yeah, he did. I'm curious to, I'm curious to see it, though. I want to know how big his schlong is. Oh, I've actually seen it. It's, um, yeah, fairly impressive. Really? Yeah, it's like um, he's shagging two chicks and a... Um, in like a bathtub and what and it's supposed to be one of their like wedding nights or something. Is it crooked? Yeah, but you don't see his face, so um he got away with saying it was somebody else in the video and not him, but I think it was him really. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Also yeah. you all well, oh, go ahead. I love my horror films as well. Oh, yes, we're going to get into that in a moment, but I wanted to um, say that uh, you also sing the Fright Night theme, too. Oh, I, I do. That's, uh, I, I'd say that's one of my favorite vampire films, and I think it's um, loads better than what's out today, typically 80s as well. Oh, yeah, it's certainly one of my favorites as well, too. I, I, I keep missing, though, them when they go to conventions. Oh, I'd love to go to a convention. Oh, you've never been to one? Not yet, no, but I know there's um, something going on in London in a couple of months. Nice. Yeah. What was the first horror movie you ever saw? 
Um, a Nightmare on Elm Street. I sneaked downstairs and watched it while my parents were asleep. It was on video. And I was actually barred from watching horror films, and that made me want to watch them even more. And I thought, bloody hell, this is quite good. Yeah, part three was the first one I saw. It fucked me up when I was a kid. Yeah, that was quite scary for its time, I think. Yeah, part three had, had you know, uh, the, the kid who, like, turned into a puppet and he fell out of the window. Well, there's cruel suicide of that, but it really was Freddy doing it, and I thought, oh, this is, uh, I thought it's quite better than the first one, actually. But I like part four as well. Oh, yeah, part four is really good. And, you like the pizza bit? Oh, God, that made me sick when I was a kid. <laughs> I've interviewed Tuesday Night on the show twice. She's a really fun guest. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but when, I yeah. first, when I first started watching horror, it was, it was mostly the horror comedies like Ghostbusters and Gremlins. I didn't get into the slasher until I was about eight. Oh, okay, the one's rated PG. Yeah, the horror comedies. Oh, the ones that you can get away with watching as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. And I love Sleepaway Camp as well. Mm-hmm. I love Sleepaway Camp. Felissa Rose, she's really nice. I've met her. Oh, what, in real life? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I love the ending of it. Oh, the ending's the best. <laughs> <laughs> That's something you weren't expecting. Nope. So, so what are your, so what are your like top favorite horror movies of all time? Um, I'm a bit sick in the head, really. Um, I really like the Human Centipede films. Oh yeah. And I'm, I love Hostel and um, um, and I've watched Necromantic. I thought, oh bloody hell, that's extreme. No wonder it was banned over here for such a long time. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I've seen a Serbian film, but I don't know whether that's classed as horror, but um, there's no way in the UK would make anything like that. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, my favorites, I love um, the 1980 Friday the 13th movie. Oh, yeah. Uh, Dawn of the Dead, 1978. Oh, the zombie ones, yeah. Yep. Uh, Chopping Mall. I've seen that, and that's very hard to find over here. Yeah, <laughs> we got it all over the place over here. Yeah. Uh, Return of the Living Dead. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah we, go ahead. And there's, um, well, Britain has its um, fair share of zombie films, like um, 28 Days Later. Yeah. And um, Shaun of the Dead, which is more like a comedy, but I thought that was really good as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, also, um, um, like I said, Nightmare on Elm Street 3. And, uh, um, go ahead. A little, um, a little known horror film in, in Britain called Inbred, and um, I think it's absolutely fantastic and highly underrated, so if uh, you, ever you get a chance to watch that, I'd recommend it. Mm-hmm. Have you ever seen The Howling? Yeah. Uh, years ago I did, yeah. Yeah, it's my favorite yeah. werewolf movie. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me see what else. God, there's so many good ones. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I saw that when I was at school. Mm-hmm. Actually, actually in school, in a classroom, when it was barred in this country. Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you do A-level media studies. You get to see films that are barred, but saw that about and now been released over here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, oh, a lot of people took media studies just to see the banned horror films. Mm-hmm. And it didn't disappoint, but I did wonder um, why it was banned, though, because there's a lot more worse films that weren't that were released over here. Have you ever seen Reanimator? No, I don't think I've seen that one, no. Oh, it's a great movie. It's a great movie. Wow. It's a uh, HP wow. HP Lovecraft. Okay. Uh, we, we're gonna get the horror channel over here, and and that's um, we'll get it for free as well. Thanks. And they show all 
all sorts of um, horror films from like um, like the past and that. Mm-hmm. Did you ever have a crush on anybody in horror movies? Um. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> in a way, yeah. Who? Uh, Sunny Savone from um, Sleepaway Camp. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thought she was rather cute. Wow, that's so hot. Yeah. I liked uh, Jimmy Lee Curtis, Linnea Quigley. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, I've interviewed uh, Linnea twice on here, and she interviewed me for her documentary. Oh, wow, I've seen, um, uh, she was in, um, Silent Night, Deadly Night, I think. Yeah, I told her, I said, when you get, when she got impaled by the, um, moose, by the, um, reindeer antlers, I said, that was a waste of a good rack, and she was like, oh, that's so sweet. (laughs) 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 Oh, yeah. It's so hard to get hold of, though, over here, because it's like, uh, Britain's a bit, um, in the dark ages when it comes to, like, horror. Yeah. Like, well, a lot of us are prudes over here, but I'm not. <laughs> I know. And there's a horror con in England. There is, yeah. Yeah, it's so weird how they're, like, in the dark ages, but yet they don't ban a horror con. No, and I'm, I'm hopefully going to go to one before long. Nice. Yeah, I recommend them. They're a lot of fun. Mm. Yeah, just um, trying to find out where they are and that, and um, I know people that have gone, and they've like, they've met like um, like actors that have been in horror films and that, and, and I'm thinking, oh, well, Joe. Mhm. Yeah, I love uh, torture porn. Oh, hostile. Yeah, those are good. And I thought um, the second one was like a lot more violent, but I thought. Wow, how can that be topped, the first film? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, what, what I liked about um, Hostel as well was that it's um, set in Europe as well. Yeah, and I, I like it because uh, uh, Quentin Tarantino uh, was, was one of the producers. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Eli Roth, he's very interesting. Yeah, it's been with it. Yeah, he's got a very interesting vision when it comes to making horror. Mm. Yeah, because that was rather um, explicit, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely not for kids, you know. Yeah, it's definitely not for kids. Yeah. Yeah, there are some films that are actually banned over here still, but um, there's ways and means of seeing them. Mhm. Yeah. Now with all the uh, online streaming and all the pirating, yeah, yeah it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, like um, I saw the Bunny Game, and um, I thought, oh, that's uh, rather gross, but uh, I didn't see why it was banned over here though. Mhm. I didn't see that one. Oh, very torture pornish. Yeah, black and white as well. Huh. I'm intrigued now. Yeah. <laughs> so do you have any good se- any good uh, sex stories? Um, I did my back in when I was um, about five. What was it? How long ago was it now? Um, five, six years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I was dating someone a lot older than me at the time. Mm-hmm. And we had a massive argument in the whole in the hallway where where we lived. So we ended up um, next thing we know we're making love, and I couldn't get back up, and I was stuck on the floor. I was paralysed. So um, an ambulance had to be called, and uh, I was given gas and air. Wow. And it was so embarrassing because most people normally assume that um, that my partner at the time they assume he's my dad because he was a lot older than me. And they were like, how did you have this accident? And I said, oh, we were having sex. <laughs> and they gave me loads of gas and air. And I thought, oh, how embarrassing. And I, I thought, oh, please don't let a camera crew turn up. Because um, 
in the UK they like to film uh, documentaries about um, following ambulances and fire brigades and that. Mm-hmm. And that was like my, my worst fear, but um, I couldn't care less now. Because looking back, I think it's so funny. <laughs> and my back still hurts all this time, yeah, after all that. So do you uh, masturbate? Uh, I do now, but um, I've got a new partner now, so I don't really need to do it so much because he does it for me. Oh, nice. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> I'm like a huge, I'm like a huge fan of finger banging. Yeah, absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. Oh, yo. In fact, I got a good story to tell you. Well, when I was 17 years old, I was a member of the student council in high school. And um, I had to go to this uh, student council meeting. And um, uh, the, the girl whose house... Um, uh, we were at and stuff. Her friend and I, we were like, we had PE together uh, a couple of years before, and um, we were always cool and everything. But, like, I, I kind of knew she was attracted to me, and she kind of knew okay. I, she kind of knew I was attracted to her and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, like, um, she asked me if I would help her in the kitchen, and I said, sure. So, one thing led to another, and next thing you know, I'm fingering her on the kitchen table. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, and while I'm in the middle of it, I guess um, um, the friend whose uh, meeting it was at the house, I guess she saw us. And then um, after we were done, after we were done and the, and the meeting was over, over and everybody left home, I called my mom to uh, pick me up. My mom said, okay, I'll be there in 30 minutes. So then that girl whose uh, meeting it was, whose um, house it was, right, she sits on the table, she spreads her legs, and she says, okay, now it's my turn. And I'm like, (laughs) what? And she's like, yeah, she told me you were the best. Let's go. Let's go before you uh, have to leave. And I was like, okay. And so I I fingered her on the table next. Okay. And just as she was coming, um, her, her mom comes home and she's like, don't get me wrong. I know you two are at that age and I am a total advocate for what you two are doing, but go in the bedroom. (laughs) And then a few minutes later, my mom came home and that was that, but yeah, that was a really cool experience. I got to finger two girls on the kitchen table in one day. Oh, well, if you come to um, Essex, there'll be girls who are willing to do that for you all the time, so you'll probably be able to do ten girls in a day then. Really? <laughs> oh, yes, Essex, where I used to live, but I don't come from, is notorious for uh, women who uh, are quite easy. Oh, yeah. well. We- lovely. Well, we got plenty of those over here, but you have to, like, really work hard for their respect. Okay. Yeah, they're an absolute challenge over here. Where do you where do you stand on blowjobs? Oh, uh, well, if someone likes them, then, then give them, a, I'd say. But the way I see it is, if a bloke wants one, then uh, he should give his girlfriend head as well. Mm-hmm. Are you good at it? I've been told I'm good at it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> How old were you the first time you did it? Um, about 19, I think. Yeah, I was quite a late start compared to everyone else. Yeah, that's a late bloomer. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, swallow? I do, yeah. Even though it, it tastes funny sometimes. Yeah, it tastes kind of salty. Um, well, my partner's one tastes of bread. Oh, you really? Yeah, and I was thinking, oh, okay, that's uh, hmm, unusual, but at least it's not horrible. Well, they say the best thing for that is apple juice. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. What, for a bloke to drink it? Well, for the guy to drink it, yeah, so, so his cum will taste better. Oh, okay, we've got plenty of apple juice here. Yeah, 
tastes a little bit sweeter and a little bit better. Mm. You ever have your toes sucked? No, I haven't actually. <laughs> no. I know that a lot of people do like that kind of thing though. Mm-hmm. I, I'm a toe sucker. Oh, okay. Um, what, clean or dirty? Oh, clean, of course. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'll tell you, if I meet a guy who sucks toes, he's a friend of mine right away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because I have just have the most tremendous amount of respect for men who suck toes. Okay, what about people who can suck their own toes? Sure. <laughs> Got to be quite flexible, though, for that. Oh, yeah, when I was a kid, I was very flexible. I could do that, but I can't do it now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I also have a, a fetish for belly buttons. Oh, okay. I used to have mine pierced. Oh, really? Yeah, it sort of became infected, though. Did it hurt? Uh, no, I was, um, I was back when I was drinking when I had that done, and uh, I was totally drunk out of my head when I had it done, so it didn't hurt. There's a great big sign on the wall saying, we do not pierce or tattoo anyone while under the influence of alcohol. So I must have got away with it. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I have uh, an Audi. Do you have an Audi? What's that? Is, is uh, your belly button an any or an Audi? Oh, I'll have a... Um, I think, yeah, it's an any. It's an any, yeah. You ever have you ever have a boyfriend shoot his load in it? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, us Britons are quite prudish, really. Uh, <laughs> oh, there's got to be some freaky women out there. Uh, yeah, they are. Yeah, they live in Essex. <laughs> Pretty much up for anything. Oh my God! Now, right. now I want to go. Probably, to, go ahead. <laughs> what? I'm going to get slated by anyone listening from Essex now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, God, I want to go to Essex now, the more you keep talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, especially a seaside town called Clacton. Eric Clapton? Yeah, I used to live there for years, and some of the women there were the biggest skanky cunts ever. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. Oops. What color are your toenails painted? Uh, they're not painted anything at the moment. They're um, clear. Oh. Uh, my, my fingernails are, are black with uh, red, red and gold glitter. Ooh, that's sexy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I do paint my nails sometimes. Mm -hmm. My toes. Yeah, I, I paint my toenails. Oh, it's very nice when a bloke wears makeup and paints toenails and that. Mm -hmm. I've even painted some of my ex girlfriend's toenails too. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, and um, yeah, I like um, when a girl has like uh, red or purple on theirs or pink. Oh, pink's my favorite color. Mhm. Mm yeah, pink is a really good color. And then there's some people they have like four of their toes painted the same color, and then one painted a different color now. Yeah, I've seen that. Well, I've got each. Now a different colour completely. Mm -hmm. I do that with my um, fingernails sometimes. Yeah. I don't understand it, but there's something really erotic about it. Mm -hmm. Well, my son paints his nails. I'd say, good for you, lad. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So how, did, so how did you find me? Um, through, um, uh, Neil Jones. Where? Uh, I said through Neil Jones on Facebook. Oh, yeah, Neil, that's right. Yeah, you sent me a friend request. I think, um, you like something I put on his, um, on one of his statuses. That's right, I forgot about that, yeah. Yeah. I've actually, I've actually friended a lot of people from his, uh, site who likes horror and stuff. Yeah, exactly, um. I got to know him through um, uh, Dita Laser from the Human Centipede. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She, yeah, Deandra is really cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'd like to, I mean, I'll go ahead. That's like um, through getting through being obsessed with like obscene horror films. It's like I've got to know a whole new community of people from all over the world. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we've opened up um, quite a lot of um, new opportunities to like meet new people and that. Yeah. I mean, especially since now that I'm pursuing show business after my car accident and everything, that um, I'm meeting a lot of horror fans on Facebook. Okay, yeah. And it's really cool. And the internet is so, um, I think it's so useful now to like communicate with um, lots of people, especially like in other countries. Mm -hmm. um, I've met people like in Australia, or Mexico, places like that. Yeah, we're all over the place. Yeah. Not just that, not just in horror, but also on on the um, the belly button fetish uh, group too. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, fetish is for everything, I think, out there. Yeah, I meet a really, I meet a lot of down to earth people that are really cool. Yeah, I find that with um. Like with horror film fans, they're some of the most down to earth people ever. Yeah, we get called like devil worshippers and horrible people and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm like, get to know me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get to know me and you'll find people will find out I'm not the, nut, the nutcase they think I am. Well, perhaps not in that way anyway. <laughs> What way? What way are you? Um, well, it's like um, I know that um, I do love my horror films, and I get, I get caught sick in the head because of it. But it's like, well, I wouldn't do that in real life. Mm -hmm. Of course, no. I don't think anybody who likes horror would do that in real life. No, I do feel like making a human centipede out of my exes, though. But of course, um, I wouldn't do that, even though I felt like it. Mm hmm. Yeah, I, I write horror movie scripts, and I come up with some pretty dark stuff. Okay, yeah. Yeah, some really crazy stuff that I'm surprised I haven't seen in other horror movies. You know? Mm. Well, I'd, um, I'd love to um, star in a horror film. Really? Well, who would you play? Um, mm, probably someone who's messed up. <laughs> yeah. Homicidal maniac. Yeah, I could play a well, female serial killer, perhaps. Mm, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so do you do do you do acting? Um, no, I don't. No, I just do um, my YouTube channel, really. What you, so what do you do for a job? Um, well, I, I help out in a charity shop. Um, a few times a week, it's um, what what you'd call thrift stores. Oh yeah, thrift stores. Yeah, it's like a, a, a UK equivalent of that, um, but it's for an animal um, charity. Mm -hmm. And um, all our clothes are a, a pound each, so um, that's very cheap. Yeah. Absolutely love it. It's only a few doors away from where I live as well. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I've got no excuse for being late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does everybody in England uh, live in flats, or do they, do they have houses, too? Uh, well, I'm in a flat, but some people live in houses. Um, I grew up in a house when I was younger, but um, when I look at videos on YouTube, or, or videos in general, I've noticed that houses in America seem so much huger. Mm -hmm. Everything's really big. It's like um, you have like built-in closets, and in the UK that doesn't really happen. Mm -hmm. It's like um, everything is a lot smaller over here. That's smaller. Yeah. <laughs> How does your? Yeah, so I... oh, go ahead. Some people live in bungalows as well. Mhm. Mm How's the fish and chips over there? Well, um, pretty good. I, I'm actually a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. I just have the, I just have the chips, but um, 
Yeah, they're pretty. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yes, there's a chippy on every corner in in Britain, everywhere basically. Mm-hmm. And that is like a staple food for like a Friday night for a lot of people. Yeah, there's. A, I used to work at a British pub in California, and I'm sure the fish and chips in London don't taste anything like these. These ones were really greasy. Well, I've been told that food in America tastes a lot better than over here, anyway. Really? <laughs> yeah, but I've been told that by my own mother, who went over to America years ago. I would probably think the same way about England. <laughs> well, <laughs> uh, we drink loads of tea, though. Oh, yeah. So yeah. It's like everyone in America seems to be obsessed with drinking coffee. Yeah. Very much so. So I hope that if I ever do go over to the States myself, um, I'll be able to get a cup of tea from somewhere. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, because I don't drink alcohol anymore, so um, I just drink loads of tea instead now. Yeah, I had to quit drinking after my car accident because my lim- my liver was damaged. Oh dear. Mhm. Are you recovered all right now? Yeah, I was hurt pretty bad. Oh, well, doesn't sound very good then. Yeah, I'm okay now, but you know, that was three years ago. Oh, okay. Well, that was someone else's um, fault then. Yeah, somebody else's fault. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, dear. But I got out of it, and I'm pursuing my dream. Yeah. Well, I've seen your videos. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, think there's, I think there's no way you'd get away with some of the content in them over here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe in parts of London, but it's like if you were to do a gig in... Um, in Clacton, I think everyone would be so shocked they'd probably just walk out. Yeah, probably. <laughs> if any of them get what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love that uh, gap you have in your teeth. Oh, <laughs> I actually had braces um, when I was a teenager to correct that, but, um, well, the gap come back now. Mm-hmm. So. I have a gap yeah. in- I have a gap in my teeth. Oh, yes, I've noticed. <laughs> yeah. And I'm, I'm attracted to other people who have gaps in their teeth, too. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I've been told that the gap in my teeth is um, sort of part of my quirky looks, so. Mm-hmm. I had braces for, like, um, two years. I never had braces. Oh, they hurt. I heard. <laughs> and when they come off, it's like, oh, it's a great relief. Mm-hmm. Wow, two years of that. I would just go out of my mind if I had to do that. Every few months, they had to be tightened up. So they're looking a lot straighter now than what they, they were. So I was like 17 when I had braces on, so I could pass for a lot younger. Mm-hmm. No, that wasn't that bad, really. That's good. Yeah. Man, I am super wet. Oh, okay. Um, I, I can sort of guess what you've been doing then. Yep. <laughs> You'd have to wash your hands properly then, afterwards. Do I have to wash my what? Wash your hands. Of course. <laughs> Oh, Mandy, I'm such a pervert. Oh, there's nothing wrong with being a pervert as long as it's between two consenting adults who give the fuck, eh? Yeah. But can you see how many people are uh, listening in at the moment? <laughs> I'm home alone right now. Oh, okay. twerking my left nipple. Oh, okay. Fair enough. (laughs) (laughs) 
So the weather over there must be really hot then. Oh, yes. Yeah, I don't think I could cope with your weather over there, to be honest. What's that? I don't think I'll be able to cope with your weather. Oh, yeah. It's like 90 degrees. Oh, no, I wouldn't be able to cope. No, it rains quite a lot over here. Yeah, I, I see movies that are shot in England, and I go, wow, it's always cold over there. Oh, yes. I like it that way, personally. I can't take cold weather. Uh, yeah. It's like um, when it is hot over here, it's like I have to have like, all the windows open and sort of put cold water on me and everything and drink loads of diet coke and that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see them all. Okay. You sure don't say much in your videos. Oh, um... No, I do a lot of singing in them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't, like, do, like, daily vlogs. Oh. Well, it's exactly uh, when I get time to do them, really, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't do daily vlogs, but I, just, I, I consider this show part vlog and part plot, uh, podcast. Okay, yeah. But, um, you can't see who's actually, um, how many people are listening in at the moment? No, because it's not like live live, it's pre-recorded live, I call it. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'd, pro yeah. I'd probably get high ratings if it was live. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're probably thinking, who's this mad chick you're talking to from England? Mm -hmm. Wow, that was a lot. Okay. okay, so you've got a cloth nearby then. Huh? You've got a cloth nearby. I can't hear you. I, I said, have you got a cloth or a towel or something like that? Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's the first time someone's done that while I've talked to them on over the phone. Really? How's it feel? Uh, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Feels okay. Better in, I suppose. Feels okay. Yeah. Nice. Do you think I'm cute? Uh, yeah, you're all right. Yeah. Thanks. Likewise. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be called cool, very rude over here though, if you were to come over here. What? If you were to come to the UK and do a gig over here, you'd be called um, very rude. Very rude. <laughs> yeah. A lot of prudes over here. Yeah. I mean... I mean, of course, there are there are some English people who have made a career out of being dirty that are not prudes. That like, I guess, it, I guess, living in England like and being prude like passed them by or something. Oh, yeah, guys, you don't know who's going to be offended and who's going to love you for it. Yep, I never knew that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I used to be this vicar uh, in. Um, Back in uh, Essex, where I used to live, that um, used to eat his girlfriend's shit. Oh my god, that's disgusting. And everyone was like, they didn't believe it, and I thought he was joking when he told me he did it. And then um, he dated one of my mates, and uh, then he asked to eat her shit, and she was absolutely disgusted with him. Wow, I could never do that. Wow, that's disgusting. No, I'm not into that at all. I think, gross. <laughs> but, um, it's like, you wouldn't expect it of a vicar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, there's all sorts of um, interesting people up here. I could perhaps write a book about them. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to wrap this up by telling you some jokes. Okay, yeah. Do you know why cherry trees have a stinky smell? 
was it? George Washington cut one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this joke does not re this joke does not represent my personal beliefs. It's just a joke. Okay. Two pedophiles are sitting on a park bench, and yeah. a twelve-year-old girl walks by. The first pedophile says, "Hey, will you take a look at that?" And the second pedophile says, "Yeah, she must have been sub she must have been something years ago." Oh. <laughs> Jokes. Yeah. Oh, okay. A Catholic schoolboy goes into a confession booth and says, Father, I'm so embarrassed to tell you this, but I masturbate five times a day, and it goes against everything I learned in school. And the priest says, You're forgiven, my son. Please recite five Hail Marys and put some ice on that arm. And finally, a bear and a rabbit are taking a shit in the woods. The bear says to the rabbit, excuse me, sir, do you have a problem with shit sticking to your fur? The rabbit says no. So the bear wiped his ass with the rabbit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, then the, oh, <laughs> and then the rabbit died from the stink. <laughs> <laughs> I love telling jokes. Oh, yes, I've seen that in your videos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, you got plans for new videos you're going to make? Uh, I'll probably do some more um, stuff that I bought and stuff like that. And might do some more singing videos. I might show where I live. Like, um, it's, uh, it's on the border of London and Kent. That's how I live in at the moment. And, um, yeah, sort of central to pretty much everything, really. Nice. Well, I'll be watching. And okay, yeah. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Absolutely. And I'll talk to you on Facebook. Yeah, cool. This was a lot of fun. Let's do it again one day. Okay, absolutely. I look forward to seeing this. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> that's a big, <laughs> that's my, that's a word I use a lot. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, yeah. Have a great day, Mandy, over there. And... Have, fun. Yeah, have, a, have a good night as well, because it's uh, what, midnight where you are, isn't it? Yeah. It's midnight. Well, just, well, quarter to, it'd be quarter to one where you are now, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, it's been, it's been lovely talking to you. You too. You have yourself a great night. Or day. Yeah. <laughs> well, day now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, lovely to talk to you. You too. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Well, there you have it. Mandy Rainbow Locks. Ain't she a sweetheart? Thank you so much, Mandy. That was a really fun conversation. It's always nice to hear from the British and what great people that they can be. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Add me as a friend on Facebook. Join my Tommy Kovac comedian page on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and all that fun stuff. Well, that's all the time we have this week on Splat from the Past. Until next time, this is Tommy Throwback Kovac saying, there's no shame in living in the past because the present sucks. <laughs>